know the name of the person stabbed to death in Inola. Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Tiffany Alanese. We brought you breaking news of the stabbing and arrests on Fox 23 News this morning. Sheriff's deputies say the victim was 24-year-old Fabian Perez. Fox 23 has new details this afternoon. Naomi Kitt is live with what else she's learned about the case. Naomi. <laughs> Deputies tell us these gates were closed after that event last night. They were making sure cars only went out one at a time. They wanted to make sure they did not miss any witness statements after that deadly stabbing. Chaos. It takes an absolute army to work a crime scene like this. It's how the Rogers County Sheriff is describing the scene of a deadly stabbing at the River Bend Arena. Still a lot to do. Uh, with the processing of the evidence. It all happened around 9 o'clock last night in Inola. They were called to this venue after they say a fight between two groups of men turned deadly. We knew that at least there were several males in each group that were not getting along. The sheriff says 24-year-old Fabian Perez was on a horse in one of the stall areas when he was stabbed to death. He says Perez may have been a participant in this rodeo. There were hundreds of people who were attending the event. The sheriff says security at the facility held down these three men until deputies arrive. Right now, Hippolito Pina, Margarito Escarno, and Rosales Cruz Escarno are being held in the Rogers County Jail, accused of murder and felony assault. Deputies say they do have a person of interest in this case. They are still working to see if that man was a part of the deadly stabbing. We did get a statement from the arena. <coughs> Excuse me. They say, quote, Riverbend Arena was rented out to a private function, and we are currently cooperating with law enforcement during this investigation. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families during this time. Now, I did get a chance to talk with the sheriff about the murder weapon and about the effort to interview those hundreds of witnesses. I'm putting that story together for you on Fox 23 News tonight at 5. Reporting live in Inola, covering news that that matters. I'm Naomi Kitt, Fox 23 News.